I've made a material function to add procedural snow on top of assets. You can easily add it to any material and it adds the snow on top of all the assets it's assigned to. You can download this function on my Patreon or watch the tutorials I've put in the description to learn how to create it yourself. Let's add it to this Quixel asset. Select the mesh, open the material instance and browse to the parent. Duplicate the parent and let's add a snow to its name. Save it and open it. Right click under HD, there is the snow function. We just have to add it here in between these two nodes. So let's do it like this. In the details, search for nanite and enable tessellation. You can also use it without tessellation, but with nanite tessellation enabled, it looks so much better. So save the material. Drag the new material here. And as you can see, a snow is added to the mesh. And we have the snow section in the material instance. Let's open it. We have all these parameters to control how the snow looks. Let's enable them. And let's start from the top. The first parameter controls the snow amount. When it's zero, there is no snow. And when it's one, we see all the snow. These are the snow textures. And this parameter is to control the size of the snow textures. I've used the melting snow textures from Quixel Bridge, but you can add your own textures if you want to. We can control the roughness, the normal and displacement strength of the snow. Right now it works for me, but if it doesn't work for you, make sure that nanite is enabled for the mesh. To do that, browse to the mesh, right click on it, and as you can see nanite is enabled. Now these parameters are to control the snow material, and these parameters are to control how the snow blends with the mesh. First we have the blend texture size and the blend texture. Let's see how it works. For example, let's add the pearly noise texture from the starter content. And as you can see, it's already looking better. We can change the size. And now if I use the snow amount, we can see the effect of the texture. We can invert the texture. And we have these four parameters to better control how the snow blends with the mesh. Now let's add it to this concrete mesh. Open the material instance, browse to the parent and change it to this one. Enable the snow parameters. Change this one to something better. I usually use the Perlin noise texture with it. It's provided with the starter content. Let's check if nanite is enabled. And let's change the displacement to 1.5 and tweak these parameters. And just like that, we have a snow on the mesh. The great thing is that when we rotate the mesh, the snow is always on the top. So as I was recording the video, I figured one parameter is missing. And that's the parameter to control the angle on which the snow is added. So I went ahead and added this parameter. As I increase it, as you can see, the snow is limited to the flatter areas of the mesh. We can see it better here on the default sphere. This is the default value. The snow is covering the vertical areas too. But as I increase it to like 10, now the snow is limited to the flatter areas. And as I increase it more, it's limited more. We could also do it with the blend offset, but this is how it looks with the blend offset. And this is how it looks with angle tolerance. So yeah, that's it. Again, you can download this function from my Patreon or if you want to create it yourself, you can watch the tutorials I've linked in the description. 
So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.